These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Mark Z via PDK. They are launching their ISX on our NASDAQ. And for them to be able to do that, in my opinion, they have no choice but to have a functional working international rate slash currency that is accepted everywhere all over the world. How can they send money to the stock exchange without a functioning international currency? That is one of the reasons I'm still excited about the month of January. Frank26 uh, says you don't want to lose sight of your dinars wherever you go to exchange. We're going to send it to the main headquarters. They'll verify it a week later and we'll tell you if they're real or not. What if they're stolen? Well, too bad. What if the Brink truck gets in an accident, overturns, and burns all my dinars? Well, too bad. We'll give you $1,000? No. I want the true value of it. Well, I'm sorry. We lost them. Good God Almighty, says Frank. He says, there's nothing you can do about it. Don't ever lose sight of your currency. Try to go to a major bank. All right, Hennig article quote, how did the U.S. shock policy affect the price of the dollar in Iraq? Quote, a report published by the American Wall Street Journal on Friday shed light on the dollar crisis in Iraq and the accompanying rise in the prices of food and imported goods. The newspaper quoted U.S. and Iraqi officials as saying, The Federal Reserve began last November to impose stricter controls on Iraqi commercial banks dealing in dollars in a move aimed at curbing money laundering and illegal access to dollars to Iran and other countries subject to severe sanctions in the Middle East. All right, Sandy Ingram, urgent news. It is no longer just one or two stories about the money situation in Baghdad. It has become a major, unique report news on the international feeds coming out of Iraq. It appears the United States government is placing checks on currency auctions. The check and balances system are hurting Iraq's public finances. Iraq is facing a deepening hole in its public finances because of a crackdown on corruption and dollar smuggling. The Iraqi government depends on the auctions to convert dollars. They sell oil in U.S. dollars and then they turn around and change it into the Iraqi dinar for the Iraqi dinar economy. The problem Iraq is facing now is Iraq does not have enough Iraqi dinars. Because of this, they do not have enough money to pay government workers' salaries and other obligations. Frank 26, Firefly Dubai wants to make Iraq like a trading infrastructure investment site where Iraq is like a hub. This would be a tremendous boost to the Iraqi economy. Frank says, isn't that something? Dubai, the filthiest, richest country in the world, wants to make Iraq their financial hub. Oh my gosh, rich people only hang around with rich people. Do you really think they would make such an amazing, enormous investment in your country at a program rate? Trust me, they know what is happening with your monetary reform and they want a piece of it. Samson article quote, Shafak News, the Iraqi Ministry of Interior announced the arrest of a group Forex traders on Saturday. A source told our agency that the security forces were tracing a gang of Forex traders involved in manipulating the market and tampering with the U.S. dollar's exchange rate against the Iraqi dinar. Nader from the Mideast said they said the first, maybe the second, something will happen. I don't know what it is. I wish I knew, but it, something is happening. All right, Frank 26 article quote, the, the framework assigns al-Sudani with a suicide mission in Washington financial truce to secure employees' salaries. The framework wants the auctions to return so they can return to stealing Iraqi citizens' dinar. The framework knows that a new monetary reform is about to be exposed. Look how they even talk about the coins that the CBI talked to the citizens about last week. It's no secret. All right, Mark Z via PDK, the framework assigns the Sudanese a suicidal mission in Washington a financial truce to secure employees' salaries. Mark Z says what they are facing is a shortage of dinar in the local markets that is causing a liquidity problem in Iraq. They have plenty of U.S. dollars, but dinar is scarce. And you know how they could fix this? They could RV and put lower denominations in circulation. To me, this is a contrived crisis to help push the RV forward. Maybe I'm being wishful in my thinking, but with the shortage of dinar, The government is struggling to pay salaries. They have pulled so much dinar off the streets in order to raise the value and RV.